Okay, I'm uh, playing a game of Dominion here. Uh, no, it's not a game, it's a match. It's a match of Dominion here, it's for League, it's against uh, Triple Range Merge, apparently. Um, and, yeah, uh, it's been kind of a busy week where I've been, at least the last couple of days, running out of gas fairly early on in the day, so we're going to endeavor to have that not happen here. Um, so, uh, well, I get to open Band of Misfits, I guess. I think that's probably better than Apprentice, but, um, And you get to top deck one. Oh well, whatever. Uh, board wise, um, okay. So there's like this this tide pool siren thing going on. That seems probably fairly relevant, doesn't it? Uh, so like I think that's probably good enough that you you just end up trying to draw out. Um, you can you can sustain like plus five with forager or whatever. Uh, Gains are a little bit of an issue there. I mean, there's, there's the, 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 the lucky coin for silver gaining. So, I mean, I guess it's probably fine enough. Um, oh, there's also going to be a lamp. That's exciting. <laughs> Lots of exciting things. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, Let's see, anything else? Uh, Diplomats of Village, it's going to be kind of tough to get going, and also probably not that valuable, just because the only terminal you really want to play is Siren. I mean, you maybe want to play Jack, but I think that's kind of overly difficult. Um, so yeah, I guess we're going to start Band of Misfits. Uh, let's see. Um, and uh, I guess see see where it goes. Uh, we are happy to see the Band of Misfits this turn. Uh, you do Siren immediately. That seems fine. I mean, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Like, if I had seen an estate, it might have been tempting to do something else, but as is, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play the Siren. Uh, I'll probably buy another Band of Misfits. So, mission is tempting. You can, you can transport things on mission turns. Um. Although in this case, I don't know that I'd actually be able to. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to take another Band of Misfits. It's not the greatest for popping lamp. Well, that is a point against taking another Band of Misfits, isn't it? Like, I could take Apprentice instead. The problem with Apprentice is, like, if I play this as Siren, I'm about to shuffle here, and it's going to drop to 8, and I'm going to have the Apprentice with a bunch of crap. So that's not very good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take another Band of Misfits. And then this will be probably... Well, well, we'll see what I draw. I think it's likely to be Mission. Um, I'm really not that into a third Band of Misfits, I guess. I could also take an Apprentice here. Uh, that seems fine enough also. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So this is going to be play Siren by mission. The apprentice is looking at getting the lamp activated. Really, uh, that's that's the primary purpose, anyways. Um, a lot of bands. I mean, I guess it's probably fine just because you'll be able to play Tide Pools, you'll be able to play Siren, whatever. Um, uh, we can transport, I don't know. I mean, I could transport a band of Misfits here totally. Yeah. That seems okay. 
Uh, you must, you must have the second one. It's in here anyway, it's just in state. Okay. Not being able to take mission here is pretty bad. Um, like I really oversaw coins last turn compared to what might have been ideal. So it goes. It's actually going to be kind of tempting for me to, uh, let me do top deck and band of misfits. Okay. Um, it's tempting for me to actually just transport to like standard band of misfits here. Like the probability that you take two out of there, I guess, is actually kind of high. Um, well, maybe not given like that turn. So maybe I just transport one band, try to get like two next turn. That seems like a, that seems like a real thing that, that I could do. Um, now it's going to be this uh, one way or another. Uh, so maybe I just like do something like this and, and I'm going to try to take both out this next turn. Um, I guess I could have also uh, tide pooled that and then missioned, but mm, whatever. Like you buy a band here. I mean, you, you you can't do both. You can't do both. So I think it ends up being all right. Probably another siren. Uh, I guess you have multiple bands there, so it's gonna be like forger or something siren. Okay. Well, this seems relatively reasonable. Well, this sucks. Um, I guess I'm just gonna mission here. Uh, we'll we'll deal with the consequences of not having uh banded, but like this is this is just. Kind of where we're at. Um, I don't really know. Like I could, I could shuffle here. That seems pretty terrible. So I guess I'm like just gonna apprentice a copper and then band a siren, transport uh, one of these out. It's pretty ugly. Um, yeah. Kind of wish I hadn't missioned. Oh well. Um, so what's in there? There's, th I don't think there's like another band in there, so let's just do it this way. Um, top deck one of those. Sure. Okay, last siren's gonna be coming out here. Fine. Um, This is like just slow enough to be really irritating. <laughs> okay. 
I'm also uh, pretty far behind on like just points and I guess deck control as it goes. Um, maybe we do another tide pools right here. Like it, worst where comes to worst, I can mission if I don't find yet another. Okay. Well, this is awful. I mean, I set it up myself, but it would have been really nice to find, you know, like anything with that second one. Um, so the question is, do I mission? I mean, the answer has got to be yes, right? There's Apprentice and another band in there. It's just ugly. And it makes everything miss the shuffle. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. This just, I don't know. Wasn't, wasn't really feeling it. And I don't really particularly love playing at that pace, to be quite honest. All right. Let's have this go better. Um, what is going on here? Another board where there's like nothing going on. That's that's how I'm seeing it. I guess there's like collection wishing well. You probably want to run that over like jack stuff. Um thinking about opening like innkeeper wishing well or baron wishing well. Uh the problem is that I think like at the end you kinda wanna just be doing like pairs of barges. Uh, so that's not looking that's not looking so amazing. Um Trade trash as a state's fine. Whatever. Um, let's see. Innkeeper or innkeeper wishing well or wishing well silver. Like both of these seem like real okay possibilities. Uh, I'm kind of preferring the innkeeper wishing well. I just kind of want to keep it, keep it actiony. Um, I guess I could also do double wishing well. Like that's a that's a thing that you can do because of squirrel and it doesn't look that bad. I think I'm gonna tend towards the innkeeper though. Okay, well I guess you can just open barge also if if that's what you're into. Um This is not the most amazing hand. Oh, actually, I guess it's actually pretty good. So we're gonna, we're gonna squirrel this. Uh, and I'm gonna take another wishing well, I guess. Because this way I'm gonna be able to wish for, uh, copper on this one. I guess it's only gonna be like a two out of three. It's not very good. Oh, well. Yeah, this is dreadful. Um, well, hey, I should take another innkeeper. Maybe I take more wishing wells. I guess I'm just going to keep taking wishing wells because what else am I going to do? Uh, what we really want is collection and what we really want is barge, but neither of those is seeming to really be happening at the moment. Um, go plus three, minus three. Um, let's see, this should be able to find, hopefully, copper. Nope. Did I just screw that up? Yeah, I just totally screwed that up. I totally knew that that wasn't copper. <sighs> so, now this is, um, estate and innkeeper. Let's wish for the... Oh, no, it's a copper. How the hell? I am so confused. It was copper innkeeper. Ugh. Oh, well. This is my heavily distracted game, apparently. So confused. I mean, I'm, I'm losing this game at this point. This has just been a t 
terrible, terrible, terrible um, thing I've been doing. Um, okay. We may actually get through the wishing wells before collection, before we get to collection, just because I've been so ineffective at doing anything competently. Um, I haven't shuffled since then. No, okay. Shuffled, shuffle, okay. So, two innkeepers, and of course we don't find either. Um, Um, I guess I'll go plus one card here and then do the, the plus three minus three with the next one, I think. Oh, this is a wishing well. Where the heck? I am so damn confused. I don't have two innkeepers. I only have one. That's, that's what's going on here. Shoot. Um, all right. Well, let's see if we can get ourselves into a better headspace because this certainly isn't it. Uh, I'm gonna squirrel this and I'm gonna take yet another wishing well, I guess. Alright, I only have one innkeeper. Let's, let's remember this. Um. I don't know if it's gonna be better to do, like, barges at this point or just deal with the squirrel. Like, I'm a little bit scared of not having plus five, of course, but, um. Like, at some point, you know, um, copper, wishing well, okay, it's a copper. So that means I have copper and two wishing wells in there, because I certainly don't have anything else in my deck. Um, here I could think about taking collection. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Just, I mean, it's pretty good to trade, but... It's also not particularly valuable if I don't have the plus buy-in, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's do it this way. It's just complete incompetency. <laughs> So I'm expecting probably like a collection here. Um, province, okay. I mean, I can kind of see the province. I don't think it's bad. Oh, that should not have been a wish for wishing well, but I would have been wishing for copper otherwise, so it's not like it makes a difference. Um, I'm just going to do two wishing wells here. Um, I still need barge, like, I don't, I, I feel like you're in a position where you're probably going to be able to just province out, um, which is certainly a problem, um, uh, two states, Two coppers. Um, I should contemplate whether to squirrel this. Like, if you're gonna be, I think I'm probably best off squirreling this and then buying trade here. Like, if you're gonna be, um, if you're gonna be provincing out, I think I think this is fine. Or if that if that's gonna be your goal, I think this is fine. Um, I don't really think I'm in position to do anything that isn't just squirrel. I don't think I have time for the barges at this point. It's it's going to be tough no matter what, especially just because I screwed up the start so badly, uh, not knowing what was in my deck. Um, 
Okay, that collection is actually just completely bizarre to me. Like, I don't think it's doing anything at this point. It's not like it's going to make a huge amount of difference, but I just thought it was kind of weird. Um, well, do I guess silver now? I guess so. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, what do I want to do here? I guess I want to do, like, barge trade. It could be kind of tough under current circumstances, couldn't it? Uh, name's Silver. Okay. Um, yeah, so I can go, like, plus three, minus three. Uh, I could also just squirrel this. What would I do if I squirreled it? Take, like, barge, trade this state? That might be best. Um, so there's only one more wishing well down there. I can probably hit 11, but or I can probably hit 12, but I don't think it's going to really be effective. So let's go barge trade the estate. I mean, in a perfect world, I'll be hitting 13 here, province barge for a point. I mean, that's not it's not going to happen, so... Like, I don't really know how I fight through this. Um, be good at wishing. That's kind of how it is. Right. <sighs> Need to get my head back. That's, that's a lot of what needs to happen here. Okay, this can just be province. Like, you you can really just province out. I don't I don't think messing around with like innkeeper stuffs at all the move. Um, Copper's my most common stop card, and we're still naming stop cards at this point. I say is none of these things are copper. Um, yeah, right, like, I mean, I need to find the collection, but these three cards are all copper. No, there's a wishing well. How do I have eight wishing wells? That's surprising. Okay, well, this is fine. Um, I'm going to take barge innkeeper, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend like I haven't completely lost this game already. <laughs> Plus five minus six. Interesting. I guess the, the thing that I might kind of have going for me is, um, that like you're potentially a little bit more ineffective at oh my god <laughs> oh gosh how does this happen <sighs> yeah i'm done this is <laughs> that is unbelievable Quite honestly. Oh. Okay. Well, this looks more reasonably normal, board wise. There's not like some dumb thing going on, so that's a positive. Um. I don't know what I'm gonna start. Uh, there's like. 
I guess I might start like church shrine. I'm not sure. So, so like there's, there's council room merchant camp and first mate, I guess is probably also possibly a little bit relevant, but maybe not the most. Well, I mean, I guess you can church over a first mate and then like first mate a bunch of merchant camp. So that seems good. Um, I don't really think I want to open doctor. Like hitting six early for sack of loot, I think is a priority. I think, I think sack's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm liking the church, certainly. Um, I think I'm going to take Shrine with it. Um, look, I think, I think that'll do the, I think that'll do the best job of, of reaching my numbers quick. Uh, second church seems also reasonable. Like, you're gonna want the second church at some point, I just don't know that it's right now. Um, so, what now? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take a shrine. Okay, I'm gonna be happy with that decision. Uh, I'm just gonna take three coppers over right here. We might get the sack. We do get the sack plus two estate trashes, so that's kind of really good. Um, I just have to, I have to have an inner debate whether to, um, trash an estate with church or not. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go with not. Yeah, I'm going to go with not. I guess you have the second church. What you're looking at is like... Maybe you're looking at church and six coppers, in which case you're gonna stow nothing and take the sack. You might also stow one and take a first mate, given that you have this double church thing going. Um, I just want to prioritize sack of loot because I think like getting getting those in, especially if you start do doing this council room business, is is gonna be pretty good. Um, I guess you could also play like first mate merchant camp sacred grove, but whatever. Okay, so this will be a this will be a first mate, I think, for me. Um, you seem to be seeing your churches every turn, so that's that's definitely a point against what I've just done. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, that was awful. <laughs> that was actually completely awful. Um, hmm. I'm actually a little bit tempted to take council room after seeing that. Cause like, what am I going to do next turn? I'm going to stow. Yeah. All right. Let's. Let's take the council room, because what I'm going to do next turn, I'm going to stow some stuff, I'm going to play the shrine, and I'm probably just going to pass from there. Um, and I want to, yeah, okay, this, this makes sense. You know, I guess I'm not playing the shrine. Maybe I just stow an estate and buy church then. It seems like a distinct possibility that that's, that's the thing that I do right here. Uh, given that I'm going over the shuffle. Why is it doubloons? Like, like, I think there were already, like, sufficient issues with what I was doing, and then it, and then it had to be doubloons. Instead of, you know, something that 
would give me by. <sighs> like I'm, I was, I was really looking for a plus three coins plus one buy out of it, but yeah. Okay, this is this is fine. This is fine. This is good. This is where we're really everything I could be looking for. I think. Uh, I wonder if I want a merchant camp here. Actually. That's a that's a thing I can do. Um, I don't think so. I think I just want to stow the three coppers. Well, no, that's not particularly true. I think I'm going to stow one copper, and I am going to get the merchant camp. Uh, it's kind of an annoying shuffle, but I think I, I think I do have to just be getting stuff. Ah, as it is. And like I, I have other good trashing, so yeah. So actually, our decks are fairly equivalent at this point. Um, other than that, you're going to be able to play a church here. Well, I guess it's going to be an estate anyhow. Okay. Windfall. Alright. I don't know about the windfall. I think that's actually like distinctly worse than a sack there for you. But I'm not sure. Um Okay, so now I'm looking at wanting like first mate merchant camp. That's a that's some things I can buy, right? Yeah. Oh, I, I have more than that. Um, I think I'm still going to go like first mate merchant camp. I could go first mate council room, but I think, I think this, this thing's better. Uh, I could also think about like double merchant camp innkeeper, which I'm not that into. I guess I could also go like first mate innkeeper. Uh, that's another, that's another possibility. Somehow I hadn't seen innkeeper yet, but uh, I think I'll do it this way. Alright, so this is this is pretty fine. Like this is this is exactly what I'd be asking for, maybe. For, for I can first mate church, set aside two coppers, play the shrine. Uh there's a possibility that I see something that I don't particularly like, like the council room right now, but I think it's fine. Okay, this is this is good. Um yeah, so like I can trash out a copper here. I sure I do that. Um, I'm gonna take another first mate. I'm gonna take like first mate innkeeper right here. First mate merchant camp. What I really want to get doing is to church out over um t -t 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 things. Um, I guess I'm actually gonna take like council room innkeeper. Uh, just because I don't really have the first mate set up for next turn. Right? Could also do another merchant camp, potentially. But I'm liking the innkeeper. I don't need to top deck that. I have merchant camp council room in there. Coven is not scaring me at all. This game is going to be probably over before they go, unless you start, like, really hitting them. In which case, I can probably set up to where, like, I'll have enough to just overpay for a doctor by 10. Clear them all out at once. Or I guess 11 nowadays. Maybe it should frighten me a bit more, but I'm just not feeling it. So this is surely going to be sack, okay. And council room, all right. Um, 
Let's see, we want to go plus three, minus three right here, because we want to go like uh, merchant camp council room. We want a church over at least the first mate. I think that's it that I want a church over. Uh, shrine, sack, insignia, joy. <sighs> um, so I want a first mate. And like two merchant camps in a council room. I think that makes a lot of sense. I guess I could also consider a coven. I don't really think I need to give that that due of consideration, and we'll top deck all of those. Now that I'm pulling the first mate over. Um, and now I'm just going to start on provinces, really. Uh, I think that's reasonable. I might have been a little bit slow to it. Like, if you can double here, I think I'm in relative trouble, but maybe not. First mate might have been a little bit too out of the way stuff. I don't know. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, there's the other thing I could consider doing at some point, which is, um, like buying a curse, discarding from exile, and, um, overpaying for doctor. That's, that's a thing that I can do if the points get to be, like, too scary. I guess my main thing right now is that like I feel like I'm maybe a little bit low on econ compared to where I could be. Um, so maybe like this turn rather than play the sack of loot I'm gonna windfall. Okay, Covens continues to not scare me very much. Maybe it should. Church over these two. We'll play the shrine because it gives money. Alright, so I can't windfall and double, but I can windfall um, and like province something. Um, this would take me to 24. Uh, if I windfall, it takes me to 20, 30. So, like, I can, I can boost it up to 32 quad province. I could, like, windfall province coven even. That seems like a not unreasonable thing to do. Um,. I guess I could also play the play the sack of loot and like double province coven, although I don't think that's really as effective. Um, so let's go that province coven on top. Like, that brings me up to 32, so, like, if you end up doubling this turn, it gives me a chance to win. Right. So, yeah.
So like I have I have quad here. Um, and exiled. Let's see how that happened. Oh, worm. Worm is how it happened. Uh, I guess that's also something for me to be considering, isn't it? I sh I should have wormed the shrine. That's that's what that's what I'm learning. Oh well, forgot the I forgot the essential way. <laughs> I could also think about worming like one of the merchant camps or even two of them. Uh, depending on what you do, of course. Like if you like if you open up the quad province, I'll be happy to take it for sure. I'm not gonna not gonna have any reservations there. I'm sure it's not going to happen, but it's fun to pretend. Let's see, I don't think you'd be able to quad. I don't think it's something that you can do, or will be able to do. Uh... Anyways. Oh, that's weird. You want 18 for some reason. I guess this is going to be like province something something. No, no, it's wind falling. Yikes. I guess the other thing I can do is I can like contemplate not actually buying province. Uh, like this raises you up to 27. I'm gonna guess that you probably are, are looking at being able to quad next turn. Which then makes the, the question something like, uh, do I actually have a chance if you do? Um. Which, which then asks, like, how many of these do I worm? Um, I think I'm going to worm the last two, since I'm not trying to quad. Um, play this council room, sure. I mean, this is kind of where I want to be at. Uh, like, I think, I think this is fine. Um, like, I, I'm going to church out the innkeeper first, make council room. Uh, and then I'm gonna buy province and some duchies. Like that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I think province three duchies. Cause like if you can quad out of this, I'm, I'm just toast anyways. Uh, like even if I take what? Four duchies, what happens then? Um, if I take four duchies, then I'm at... Oh, some odd number of points. Then I'm at... Uh, And I guess there's a good chance that you actually just straight up can't quad even if I do do this right. But if I take if I take um, four duchies, then I have uh, sixteen points, and then you quad and you're up like I don't know how many points. 
Um, well, let's take our three dot cheese. Three, sure. Um, then you quad, uh, that's 24 points. You'd be at 36. You'd be up 20. I'd have to take four duchies of province and so, oh, that's okay. That's, that's so super possible. And if you don't quad, will there be a pile out? Maybe. So if I just take another duchy here, I think I'm actually good. Cause I'd be at 16. Oh, you'd, you get, it, there, there'd be like one point to make up. Eh. I think I think it'll be end. I think it'll end up being possible. So so let's go ahead and take this duchy. Um, and do I want anything else? Uh, silver. Maybe. I don't think I don't think any of this is worth it. Merchant camp might actually be nice to to worm some more stuff, but I think I'm just gonna stop there. Top deck all the merchant camps. Sure. So, so my, my theory with that is that I can beat quad. Unless I did some awful miscalculation. <laughs> Which is always a possibility, you know. Always a possibility. And otherwise, at this point, I can probably pile out. Um, otherwise. Like, if you take duchies. I can surely pile estates curses and take however many provinces I need. I don't know if playing around quad is really necessary. I don't think it was, but I could do it, so why not do it? Okay, it's it's not even close to there. So like if you take four duchies and an estate, I should be able to win still quite easily. I think. Okay. There's one of the things I kind of needed. I took a loot last turn, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, now I think I just go all out for trying to quad. Or depending on what you do, the, the duchy estate thing might actually be a little bit safer. I think they kind of um, have the same start, though. I guess it's a question of, like, how many merchant cans I'd worm. Uh, maybe one. Just going to guess. Going to guess at one. Or I can go all out for coins. Another another intriguing possibility. Uh, 
Um, I guess I'm not actually going to draw that much with the first mate. That's kind of disappointing. Like one card even. It's not very good. Um, I guess I could trash out the shrine too. That's probably the move. Let's trash out the shrine. Um, am I just going to go out all out for quad? I think so. Let's do it. Um, I think the best thing to do here is actually just to be first make the church and, and leave it. Get a little bit more draw out of that. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to easily have the, the 32 I need. Um, top deck, sure. Okay. Yeah. To my start. So I don't know that I did the best job early there, but I think the I think the first mate merchant camp stuff is actually kind of just too good to pass up. Um, okay, what have we here? Uh, 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 uh. We have Trapper's Lodge, and I really hope I don't just lose immediately due to Sea Witch. That would be really unpleasant. Um, alright, so I can contemplate either top decking Importer or top decking uh, Sacrifice. I could also think about top decking Tent and actually like going actively for the Sea Witch, depending. Um, that might be something that I can do. Uh, those all seem like the the things that are that are possible to do. Um, there's enough villages that I think. Oh, there's there's this garrison supplies thing. Oh, that seems really nice. Um, so maybe I do top deck the tent and just see if I can't just spike sea witch right away. A more conservative would be like top deck sacrifice. Um, I could even shy the, shy the sacrifice immediately. Uh, that would pair it up with an estate right away. Seems alright. Also. Um. So many possibilities. So many possibilities. Um. I wish I had a 3-4. If I had a 3-4, this would be really clear. I'd just top deck a tent, but. I don't, so such is life. Um, I think I'm going to top deck the sacrifice. Yeah. Now I'm going to shy it. Okay, importer on top. I mean, I guess I could also sacrifice a copper top deck and importer. Um, that also seems totally fine. Right. And now I'm happy to take supplies. I don't think I want to trap it. <laughs> so I mean, I'll get I'll get the sea witch in before the shuffle, which is totally cool. Um, top deck and importer. That seems okay. I guess you'll get two sea witches in before the shuffle, but like. Whatever. Oh, I guess you get to top deck your sea witch. That's gross. That was kind of short sighted of me, wasn't it? I could have done that. <laughs> well, whatever. We'll get the sea witch in. Um. Like 
that. Uh, I can buy another one. That seems pretty good. Right. Even top deck it. Yeah. Oh, I probably didn't actually want to top deck it. Because now I'm not going to shuffle here, but whatever. I'll get over it. Um, I definitely didn't want to top deck it. That was just dumb. Um, let's see, I could prep the, the, the importer. I don't really actually like that very much. I think I'm just going to take a hunting lodge. Uh, and this time I will be sure not to top deck it. Because this time I'm going to be not stupid. Oh, that was an impressive pair. Discards three estates. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, whatever this thing is, I want to top deck it. I guess it wants to be a hunting lodge. Um, I'll be able to play everything if I do that, I think. Uh, it could also be a worker's village. That's a, that's another real possibility. Um, just because I kind of want to do get plus buy in. Be able to start sacking some cool stuff. Maybe. Hopefully, you saw your second importer. Yeah. Oh, I guess you'll be able to top deck a hunting lodge all the all the same. Um. So this is like importer sea witch in it. Um, I don't want to shy. I do want to actually trash. Um, maybe I just sack the estate and call it a day. I don't think so. I think I think I do want to play the hunting lodge. Is that even accurate? No, that's got to be completely inaccurate. Um, whoops. Well, no, I guess it's, I guess it's probably true that I want to play that. No, it's, it's not true at all. I want to think about this a little bit. I could, I could sack copper and, uh, prepare these things too. Uh, that's, that's the other option. I think that's better than getting another supplies. Uh, this is a little bit unpleasant. I would have really liked to have, um, what's it, done something else. <laughs> that, that'll be, that'll be my big summary of it, is I'd like to have done something else. Um... Okay, so we'll see which. 
Uh, prepare plate importer. Uh, we're just going to keep this at this point. Uh, I'm not feeling a need to shy because why would I? Apparently this is why I would. Um, okay. Uh, could sack a copper. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna like sack a state and uh, buy importer right here. This stuff's not the most amazing. Like there's a sea witch in it, but I think this is I think this is kind of the way to go. Uh, and potentially I'll get to prepare, um, and that'll be fine. Like, at some point, I, I think trashing is just going to be better than whatever. We'll hope to, we'll hope to draw at least one coin. I hope that's not going to be too much to ask for. Maybe it will be. We'll see. Workshop makes some amount of sense. It was too much to ask for. All right. Um. Well, that's unfortunate. I would like a workshop. Yeah, but. Who knows how much of any of it's happening. Like, despite putting the sacrifice in early, I'm not actually particularly thin. Uh, like, I've only trashed out, what, three cards? Eh. Two of them coppers. Eh. None of that's particularly good. Um... Let's see here. Maybe I'll do like Workers Village Sea Witch and then do the Hunting Lodge. I guess it's not really gonna matter what I what I discard here. Um Okay, that's interesting. By which I mean horrifying. But now I think I'm in like okay shape other than the not having whatever, whatevers. I'm in okay shape if all my draws are perfect and amazing. That's, that's what's, that's what's really the, the moral here. Um, I don't think tents ever actually gonna happen. I really want another sacrifice, yeah. Hunting lodges seem to be working all over overtime over there. I just kind of missed. I mean, I I missed stuff at the start, which of course is never a good thing. Um. And I'm hoping that that doesn't end up being the game, but it totally might. Um, I'm gonna shy this, I think. I could have sworn. Um. Maybe it's time to just take another hunting lodge. I could take a workshop too. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. It's all kind of complicated. And doesn't feel like it matters all that much. 
Um, yeah, I think I should probably just take another hunting lodge to make sure I get through things. Well, I probably get through things because of the horses. Maybe. Maybe I want another sea witch even. Hmm. I think I'll take a workshop. We can gain another hunting lodge, right? I just wish your turns were worse, because they aren't. Like, why do you keep finding hunting lodges? Probably because you have a ton of them, and I just don't. I feel like my turns are struggling a lot more for, I don't know, reasons. It was really the double importer. Like, I so totally would have top-decked importer to, to start the game had I, like, actually recognized that you could top-deck the thing that you gained with importer, and I just didn't, because I'm dumb. Um... So that was definitely not something that went well here. Um, do I just take the five, like take another sacrifice? Probably. Like, I think playing import is probably going to be better. Um, and trying to draw on. I don't know. I'm going back to feeling like my head's stuck in whatever. Muck. Last game I had a little bit of clarity, but even then it was a little bit tough. Dutchy. What's low? Supplies? Okay. I wouldn't have thought anything's low enough to, to be dutchying. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I don't think. I think I'm gonna like gain a. I don't know what. Another thing. Another hunting lodge. I mean, I feel like that's the way to go. We never end up did doing the the garrison supplies thing. That was, I guess, interesting. Um, right. Let's just take the last of these. Um, sack the state. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow, this all really sucks. Um, I don't really want to take another importer. Maybe I take a guide. Like, try to do something sort of inoffensive. I could also take the tent. Let's take a tent. It can be, like, mid-term e mid economy. What the heck it is I'm trying to say. Maybe I'll just take it out with duchies. Like, I'm not going to be able to make up that deficit, as I guess what the theory would be, which is probably true. I just wish your deck didn't work quite as well. Still waiting for that to happen, and I don't think it's going to. Let's just see if we can get the last two. I'm kind of tired of this game. Let's 
Alright. Okay, that should keep me interested. Oh, uh, what have we here? We have like frigate. <laughs> uh, we don't have trashing, so that's kind of a. Oh, we do have trashing. We have rats woodworkers guild. Maybe I do open rats then. I don't think so. I mean, I think it's still going to be better to open like bridge troll bobble or something like that, uh, and just see what happens. Um, I could also think about like frigate bobble. I'm not sure. Um, I think the rats trashing is probably good enough to do, but you need to be really, really con in control of it. Uh, I could also look at like sacred grove. Like if I'm really trying to hit artisan. Maybe, but, eh. I mean, I think hitting Artisan's good. I think, I think maybe, like, hitting Artisan is a priority over putting the Bridge Troll in. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, though. Uh, like, I think Frigate might be the best way to go if I'm going that way. I just don't know if that's the way to go. I think I definitely do want Bobble. Um, yeah, let's let's do it this way. I could see that being a Grover Barge being a bit better, but uh, oh, there's Barge. Undo that. Undo that. That's so bad. I can just do the same thing with Barge. Okay, here I'm going to top deck Rats. Go straight for artisan. Yep. I'm gonna go like top deck favor, top deck rats. It'll be totally fine. Um. Okay, we do see the barge. Uh, I think an artisan, I think durationing this and taking an artisan right here is probably better than, um, the other thing I was thinking about. But, we'll see. Okay, I do see the artisan here, that's really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna top deck rats. Cause like I'll shuffle here. I'm gonna top deck rats and I'm gonna buy bizarre. Yeah. And this time I'm actually gonna shuffle. I don't, I think, I think shuffling's gonna be better than getting another artisan. Um, that sounds accurate. Although those sounds can be deceiving. Bridge troll. Okay. I think that's fine. I really wish the rats would actually go into the shuffle, but it doesn't. Um, maybe I just take like favor whatever out of this. I don't think I'm buying anything. Oh, are we really gonna do this today? Are we really gonna not collide the stuff? I'm really gonna not collide the stuff. That's really bad. I really don't like not colliding with stuff. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I don't get the opportunity to take a bridge troll. That's probably okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to top deck Bazaar and buy Barge, I'm pretty sure. Um... That sounds fine. 
uh, try to get a bit more draw going through the deck. You, of course, get Village Artisan together again, because... <laughs> um... We do have, we do have woodworkers that we need to account for. Like at some point I want Frigate, right? It's pretty soon too, based on what you're doing. Yeah, I need to, I need to get that in really quick in here. Um, I'm gonna draw. Okay, this is this is fine. Um, well, mostly. I guess I guess the point against it is I don't get to um. Like I could play the rat still, right? I know I have another one down there though. Like I'd I'd kind of rather just gain bazaar and. You know, do do the thing. Uh, so I can gain bizarre top deck it here. Go like top decking coin. Um, I could top deck a barge. I could top deck a biz another bizarre. Um, I think I'm gonna top deck a barge. I don't think we get like this this turn is gonna be a there's gonna be a rat's trash. Uh, and it's even gonna go over a shuffle, which is a little bit irritating, but such is life. Um Oh, you might even throw in a frigate right here. That could be pretty annoying. Um No, no, no such thing uh is happening. I don't know what the last... Why do you have four cards? One of those is Bobble. That's Bobble in three estates. These shuffles are really not making me happy. <sighs> Alright, I need to get a Frigate in. It's not going to happen this turn, I don't think. Well, I could get pretty ambitious too, I suppose. Could be okay. Okay, I guess we're going to get really ambitious. Um, this could draw into an artisan that might not do me a whole lot of good. I could also just duration it, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I want another artisan, and really what I want here is um, two plazas, I think. On top. Or do I want a favor? I guess on two classes on top. And this will at least give me the opportunity to not get quite as murdered by Frigate if it ends up being the case that that's a thing that happens. Frigate's definitely coming out this next turn, though. Definitely coming out this next turn. That should just kind of ruin that deck. Maybe not ruin, but not make it happy anyways. Um... I 
do I have? Eh. Okay, so the last card's the second artisan. And what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, chomp that at least. I guess I'm going to, um, like, frigate barge. Next turn, duration, woodworkers, the rats, uh, possibly into another artisan, even. Um, and I could take like the last three plazas. Like that seems like a move that I totally could make. Um, top deck favor. I think that's fine. I might even have enough to do like a rat's pile out, although it's a little bit far fetched with uh, where things are at. Um, okay, frigates are coming out. Yeah, I think I think it's probably just a little bit too far fetched. Like I don't know that I have the coins. Well, I could get them though, right? It really depends on how much I can draw. Um take a barge. Um, take another barge. We need to discard some things. I want to hold the rats because I do actually want to be, um, whatevering. Ugh, god dang. Um, so frigate, top deck bobble, play frigate, duration barge, end actions, woodworkers, this guy. Uh, maybe into a bazaar. <laughs> Might actually just take province right here to, to prevent any funny business. Um, and, uh, go like coin favor. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking this. Let's, let's prevent the funny business. Province. Okay, this could be really nice if I draw a village, which is probable, but not guaranteed. Um, I think if I draw a village here, I win. Most likely. Okay, yeah. I was, I was definitely getting there that turn. Um, and to the last game, which is my start. Uh, gosh. Oh gosh. Um, alright. So there's a village in Launch, there's a village in Ghost, and there's sort of a village in Gondola, although I don't think there's any great ways to gain gondolas, which kind of points against that. Uh, I think it's really clear to start Bounty Hunter on the 4, and maybe like Ride on the 3. Um, like there's Livery, so the village stuff's probably good enough. There's Buried Treasure, which is going to accelerate things quite a lot. Corsair, I don't know that it's actually going to do a whole lot um, attack-wise, just because the, the treasures that you use are there, right there. Um, all right, that that much seemed obvious, and I think I'm preferring the ride to 
some sort of economy because what I really want to do is get a buried treasure right away. Like this doesn't do. Uh, I think I want Exorcist. Is that even true? Yeah, like I want, I want the 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 the, the, the ghosts eventually. I don't know how I'm gonna get ghosts, but I I do want them. Um. Now oh, this is bad. This is real bad. No, oh, sanctuary. Not buried treasure. Okay. Um. Yeah, so let's exile the state and let's buy the buried treasure. And I'm just going to kind of do more of that. Um, Exorcist is missing a thing. That's kind of disappointing. I guess not unexpected, but disappointing still. Um, do this. I think I'm actually just going to keep taking the buried treasures. I don't think, like, like at some point stuff will look good with it. Right. Seven we can potentially launch here. Uh, or I could take like a livery. I think that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take the library, livery, library, livery. Livery. Oh, I can, I can, um, ride livery. That seems productive. I don't feel like I actually kind of really need the sanctu a sanctuary yet. Um, my main concern is that, like, I'm just going to get out-provinced, but I don't know that that's a, that's a real thing. Um, so I could, like, buy buried treasure. I could actually get a ghost right here, which might be the, the way to go on it. Um, I don't think so, though. I think, I think we're going to be best off just getting another buried treasure. Exorcisting the estate. Let's see, do I have sufficient tools to launch? Or do I just take two buried treasures? I think I just take two buried treasures. We'll think about exorcisting the buried treasure. I don't think it's going to happen, but we'll, we'll think about it. It's also something I should co probably contemplate Wayfarer. Well, whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm not, well, no, we should launch. And so I think I'm not really comfortable uh, taking, well, I could take another livery is what I can do. I can do like livery, uh, gold even. Um or double livery potentially if if whatever's the real goal. Um Well I can take a ride with it, so let's go like ride double livery or ride mining road livery. I think that much is obvious. Um I think I think mining red's the better thing to take with it. Uh, 
and like my real goal is going to be exorcist a thing but um i guess sanctuary was also the, was the other reasonable possibility um Launch gives us one village space, so getting the second livery is appropriate. Uh, okay. What am I going to do here? I'm going to play a horse. Okay. That seemed... Oh, whoops. Undo. No, I, I do want to do that, right? No, let's let's launch first. Okay. Uh, I can bounty a horse, um, or I can try to draw on. Let's try to draw on. All right. Now I'm really tempted to just bounty this wisp and leave the livery there. Like bounty wisp play livery by province. Eh, I'll do, that. I'll do that. Let's see if we can't find it. We we can't find it indeed. Um Okay, this is a little bit frightening because um I don't actually have a whole lot of draw going into next turn. Uh, and I can't buy province right here. But, oh no, I can, I can buy a gold, right? Well, I should buy a gold. I'm gonna buy gold. Um, I could buy, I don't know. Caravan Guard, that doesn't seem very good. I guess a Gondol is actually going to be, be, be best, or two rides. Two rides is probably best. I'm going to make a Ghost. I think Ghost is good. I like Ghost anyways. I'm a little bit scared that you're just going to be able to province out, but... Whatever happens, happens. Well, you launched early, that's that's what happened. Okay, we found the ghost. Can we find the gold? Yes. Uh, launch. Yes. Okay, that's disappointing to not find. Um, I could consider bountying exorcist at this point. I don't think that's good. Um, I think ghost of mining road. That's disgusting. Well, maybe it's actually fine. I could bounty the exorcist too. Like, if I bounty exorcist here, what do I hit? Um, I'm gonna double province, so this is, oh gosh, it's 17 and it could be 20. And if it is 20, what happens? I buy two provinces and a gondola? Or I bounty copper, and I have 
16, which could be 15. I think it's time to Bounty Exorcist. And another Bounty Hunter. Oh, this is terrifying. Where does this draw come from? Gross. Well, we have launch. It just doesn't feel good. <laughs> um. So she's saying, I think this wisp is guaranteed to miss. No, there's a copper it can find. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I think with the doubled mining road, I might have the possibility of triple here. It just won't happen because somehow I have six horses in deck and I'm going to see none of them. <laughs> and then we'll have to figure out what to do. I mean, there'll be, there'll be other things to consider, like how many buried treasures do you get out, how many whatever, blah, 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 but... Um, it was pretty gross. I guess I could have taken Wayfarer on the last of the things, but I don't know that that actually performs much better than the second Bounty Hunter, and then I don't think I'd be able to reach reach my big number. Um, okay, so you got one Buried Treasure out. I think that's going to make it pretty tough for you to double, but we may also not want to really find out. Um, so yeah, this this has to launch. Um, then what? Like, I can take one copper if I want to go province duchy. Um, I can also just go double duchy and a ride. I don't really want to find out the hard way that you can you can double, but I'm also considering like if I double duchy and then you double. If I double duchy right here, I'm at twenty points. If you double, uh, you just win. So let's let's do this. Um, that is pretty horrifying. Draw. Yeah, we'll find out. I don't think you made it. No, you definitely didn't make it. There's no way you have enough money right there. You could have like two liveries. Oh, oh. All right, we're good. Because I can definitely double this turn. So you can province duchy all you want, and I can I can province duchy estate, no problem. So yeah, I th I think I've just won this game. All right, so despite not having a head this entire match for, I don't know why, because my brain's broken. Um, let's see, this just does it right. Bounty, bounty, horse, mining, road, livery. So yeah, despite not having head for the match, somehow I made it out 3-3, three, three. Um, and so that was a good thing. I don't really know what the hell happened in the ones that I lost, because I uh, 
have no idea what the hell happened in the ones that I won either. So, um, for being completely just not here, I think that was an okay result. And I'll, uh, see you all.